Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft CTX division and today I'm out testing a new 10 meter um, antenna mast. I say new, it's actually been loaned to me by uh, Jason, Charlie Tango 965. So cheers for that Jason. Uh, I'm on low ground today. I'm probably only about 10 meters above sea level. Uh, and in fact, if you look behind me, it's all this is all marshland and just on the skyline there out that way is um, the River Douglas and then over that way the River Douglas joins into the River Ribble which then goes out to sea so uh, out that way is the sea so we're not far from the sea so I'm hoping that the uh, lack of altitude is made up for the fact that we're in a wide open space and relatively close to uh, the sea, basically. So uh, I'm going to just go and find a spot now to set up and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, there's the uh, 10 meter pole set up. I've had to uh, create a new collar. 10 meter pole. I've just done a cobra stitch around a, around a rubber grommet and then attached some short pieces of paracord and four carabiners to my existing. Guy lines. And there's the ballon right up there. Oh, right up to the top. I'll just SWR'd it. I'll have to make a few adjustments. And uh, I've got the SWR down to 1.6 on channel 1, 1.6 on channel 40, 1.5 on channel 20, and 1.5 on channel 32 as well. So uh, that's a lot better than what I was getting before. So now we're just going to uh, have a flick through the channels and uh, see if there's anybody out there. But so far, I'm, uh, I'm very happy with it. Right, well, uh, there's definitely people on there. Um, it is only quarter to 11, so it's relatively early, really, I suppose. Um, but uh, that seems to be working okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So uh, I'm just going to have another bit of a play around and uh, I might just set my shelter up as well, just for a bit of, uh, bit of practice. Okay, see you in a bit. CQ, 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 this is Charlie Tango X-Ray 1269, Charlie Tango X-Ray 1269, calling CQ, CQ. Right, I've just, uh, just rigged the tarp up really quick, I'm, uh, I've got a quite a good system now with this tarp. Um, it's just pegged out at the four corners as you can see there. I've got the walking pole holding the front up. And then at the back, let's turn this down. And at the back, I've got a uh, an old tent pole that I've uh, wrapped in camo tape. And then right at the top there, I found a little rubber bung that I've shoved in the end of the pole, and that just holds up onto the tarp and the seam, and uh, doesn't damage the tarp in any way. It just holds the back end up. And as you can see there, I've got quite a bit of room in there two people could get in there no problem but for me it's ideal I'm out. the winds coming from behind so 
I'm sheltered from the wind and I've just got the antenna right behind me so uh, that's my new tarp setup for radio activations and that's what I'll be using on uh, on Pendle Hill on Sunday for the Northwest DX and hopefully we'll make some contacts so uh, Jason the uh, the 10 meter pole seems to be performing well I've made some contacts into uh, Southport and Singleton which I will work out the distances when I get home but uh, it's working well and I'm like I say before I'm on low ground I'm only 10 meters above sea level I'm right out on the marshes so it's a good clear there's a few pylons over there but other than that it's very clear all the way around and out towards that way is out to the sea so all good it's nice and quiet down here as well right time for a drink and something to eat I've finally got the uh, Charlie Tango Extreme Team patch sewn onto me respirator pack and it looks really good I'm really pleased with that there's a bugger to sew on but I uh, got there in the end so uh, all set up CQ, 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 this is Charlie Tango X-Ray 1269, Charlie Tango X-Ray 1269 calling CQ. Right, that's me all packed up now. The uh, Stations all packed away, more or less. Poles down. It uh, it is heavier than the six meter pole, but to be honest, it's carrying all the kit I had today. I had all the radio bag, water, camera, extra shirt, and uh, the basher, the shelter kit. And compared to what I was carrying the other day, it was nothing. So. The difference in weight from the 6 meter to the 10 meter pole um, isn't really an issue. So I'm, uh, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I was impressed with the uh, SWR that came down to 1.5, 1.6, which uh, Jason thinks is acceptable, so that's all right. I suppose it could come down a little bit more, but I'm happy with that, I'm more than happy. I made some contacts, I just need to find out how far, how far away they were. Uh, contacts nevertheless considering the low ground uh, it's been a nice day not as warm as yesterday it's been a bit more overcast today so it's been a bit more bearable um, but it was good inside the shelter keeping the just keeping the wind off so that was good and it's a nice spot this nice and quiet yes it's very low to sea level but uh, it's somewhere to come and get out of the way of everything just chill out for a bit do a bit of, uh, a bit of CB so all in all it's been a good, uh, good little morning so I hope you enjoyed that thanks again Jason for uh, loaning me the uh, mast I'm sure it's going to come in really handy especially for Sunday and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video